shreddy. Jerk camel. Cooked outside. Not sure about this one, Jed, I'm gonna be honest. And <laughs> now we've got to this point in the show. Welcome back to Cook and Vibe. It's different. It's different. You know why? Because my name is M.R. and that is Jed Roberts. Oh, <laughs> man, a celebrity cameraman. We are talk no. We got Jed Roberts on the cut. Honestly, it's Jed. It's a pleasure having you here doing Cook and Vibe. But this is natural. It's ain't a video shoot, my G. He's, he was with Chipmunk last night, and today <laughs> he's a Chipmunk and DWE last night. Today he's cooking with M Dot here on Cook and Vibe. So big up, Jed. Honestly, it's a pleasure to have him on the camera. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, it's a mad thing, Cook and Vibe. So with that being said, today we're outside and we are cooking. Get ready for it. Jerk camel. <laughs> jerk camel. That's what we're dealing with today. We have a couple pork chops there, so we're going to do some jerk pork. But we're mainly focusing on the camel. Do you know what I'm saying? And what we got as well is we've got some lovely sweet potatoes as well from Jamaica. And I think these ones are from Uganda, I believe. So we've got some Ugandan, you just don't even know that's the right term for it, but uh, some Jamaican sweet potato. We've got a little plant in there. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we're just gonna roast up some, some sweet potatoes in the coal and we're gonna cook the jerk camel. Yeah, we've got the little grill. We're gonna put the little grill on top of the coal pot there. And uh, as you can see there, Jed, that camel steak. Mad. It's mad. I I, it, it's mad. It's new. It's different. Honestly, I've never tasted camel before. I don't even know why this man had this in his shop, <laughs> to be honest, bro. But yeah, he did. So jerk camel, that is what we're dealing with today, people. Why I? Let's get into the ingredients. Man, like Jed Roberts, you know, it's mad. Cook and vibe, we're stepping up. No, you ain't gonna be here every week. It's a one, it's a special thing. I'm gonna be honest, it's, it's, it's a blessings. So don't expect it every week. So when you see this edit, yes, it's gonna look wicked. <laughs> yeah, don't expect it next Thursday. <laughs> but man's got the MacBook Pro, honestly, right? If you would have watched an episode from last week, the Itel food, that's the first. So everything's gonna be stepping up. So no worry about that. So, Jed, we got the camel steak, yeah? We ain't got no jerk, dry jerk seasoning, so we're just gonna deal with some Maggie all-purpose seasoning. This seasoning is very, very common in Jamaica. Every single superstore, little store you go into, they've got this type of seasoning. It's very authentic, so we're just gonna... First of all, dry rub. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we're not shy with the seasoning around here, Jed. And what we do outside, so we got our bottle of water. Natural thing. You, we, no, we don't need to be indoors. And you know what? Even though it's October and it looks like it's grey and stuff outside, it's not actually that cold. It's actually not that cold. So big up our sponsors. McGrill's Jerkyard. You done know for the marinade people. Just in the description you can click on the link and go direct and buy your McGrill's Jerk Yard. Get McGrill's Jerk Yard marinade. It make a chicken taste like a god cookie. It that? People, click the link in the description to get yours and to purchase yours. It is a proper, proper good seasoning because I would never use it otherwise, people. Jed, I, I'm a man that always makes my own jerk seasoning from scratch. So if I'm using somebody else's, it's good. I rather just wouldn't use it. Do you know what I mean? I'll just make my own. So we don't need too much because we want to save some for the, for the pork as well. So we're just going to, just enough. So we're just going to cover that like that. A little piece more. Cause I still want to taste the camel. Do you know what I mean? We, we, camel is not something you just can get in Tesco's every day. So 
there we have our jerk camel, ready to grill. <laughs> Why are you? Rolling! Cook and vibe, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. And please, look, Jed Roberts is a very, very busy music video director. He's come all the way here to do Cook and Vibe. Please show your respect, Cook and Vibers. And just in the description below is his Instagram. And just give him a follow and bless him up for me. Thank you very much. Yeah, man, we have pimento stick, yo. They don't even know. Jed, it's not a joke. You see this wood here? Mm. You cannot get in the UK. Mad. You can't get it. Pimento wood, this is like... In this jerk seasoning is, is pimento. It's a pimento berry. It's like a little berry and it grows on this tree, right? And I've showed the people them on Cook on Vibe enough times, but may I go tell them again? So basically, this tree is like a, just a magical tree. Like the bark of it is used in Jamaica. They will lay the wood down, just wood with pimento wood, big logs, and then they'll put the jerk chicken and the jerk pork on top of it, put like a, a, a bit of corrugated iron over the top of it. And that's how they deal with it. The leaves, you can use the leaves for like pimento leaf, you can use that for like porridge and it gives it like a flavour. Like if you smell the leaf, the, the leaf smells like the berry that comes off of it. And this is literally just little tiny sticks. Like, so you, if you imagine you see a tree and you have a branch and just the twigs off it. And this, when you put this in the fire, you smell the aroma that, that comes off of this. It's amazing. That's one thing that always attracted me to Jamaica. Bro, you, you walk in the bush with a man and say, yo, this does that, this does that, that's for that, that's for that. It's, it's crazy, man, and yeah, so, why oi? The coal's nearly done anyway. So a simple thing today, Jed. We're just gonna grill the, grill the camel, and <clears throat> I asked the butcher, and he basically said to me, people, that it's just like, you, you'd cook it like a beef. So not long, do you know what I mean? You don't want to you don't want to cook it for more than sort of like three or four minutes each side. So that's what we're gonna do with that. But first of all, we're gonna roast some sweet potato. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is just give them a give them a little stab up. So we ain't really gonna eat the skin. We're just gonna cut them open and eat what's inside anyway. So it doesn't really matter. We ain't even gonna put them in no tin foil or nothing like that. A straight natural thing. Now, what we're gonna do is because this is only gonna take a couple minutes, we're gonna put these in from now. And it's just a natural thing. Do you know what I'm saying? Get that in there because it don't matter that that's still burning. I'm good man. Because then at least then by the time di by the time these are gonna start cooking already otherwise the camel's gonna be ready and the potatoes are not gonna be ready. It's a massive people. So I like this side, still need to burn off a little piece. Put them good in there. Rascal. I don't want to fill it up too much. Why I? So yeah, potatoes. Then you can hear them start cooking already. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. So sweet potato, them aguan. With the, I'm not sure 
how I'm going to do this yet, people. I'm not sure if I'm just going to put it straight in and cook it like that. But fear say that, that told me how to do it. Yeah, so I'm just going to wait for this side to just get ready, get heated up a little bit more. I've them done, done cooking already, so everything is in timing. You know what I'm saying? Once that's, once that's done, we're going to put the sticks in there. And uh, yeah, man. So in the meantime, I'm going to go for a swim. <laughs> no, that's disgusting, man. Look at the state of this, people. This is what I'm saying. Nature. How people can't mash up nature like this. I don't like that. Thing not mash up. I saw it gone, man. outside. M dot, cook and vibe. Jed Roberts. It's a bad thing, man. Why are you? So we got some pork chops. You get me? Literally, we had these in the fridge for dinner. The missus bought them and I just thought I'm not going to waste them. Do you know what I'm saying? So we have four pork chops here. Going to marinate it exactly the same um, with, the, with the Maggie all-purpose and then the, 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 the McGrill's jerk seasoning. You get me? This coal is all right now. So once I put these on, I'm going to put the pimento sticks in to get some nice flavour around these pork chops as well. So let's just wash off man's then. So you know what I say after? Clayed! Well, Listerine. Yeah, everything in house, Jed. Do you know what I mean? This is in house. Yeah. Should have seen what I've done last night. I made bowls out of coconuts. Man. Yeah. So I've done like an Ital food recipe, like, like um, you know, like vegan, Rastaman type of food. And they, they eat out of these things called calibash. It's like a wooden thing that comes up a tree and that's what they eat out of and um i had one but i didn't have loads so i made some bowls out of coconuts yeah quite cool man same seasoning same way is it because then we can just Make sure we coat it nicely. You understand? Cook and buy YI season five. Keep it alive. You get me? I do hope you're enjoying this season, man. It, it, do you know what? Now there's two episodes a week. I looked the other day. I thought, how many, how many episodes have man done already? So, yeah, this is like season like 15, 16 or something, man, already. It's like, like it would have been time for a break soon, like, but I don't know if, I don't know if that's a, I don't know if that's a good thing to do right now, have a break. I feel like we're getting on a roll, people, you know what I mean? Yeah, so look. Pork chops marinated nicely. Yeah, up and running. Why? Yeah. Right, so now I'm just gonna turn over the potatoes then. Them that take too long to cook either, you know. They don't they don't take too long to cook either. So get them in there, look like need a little piece of heat over this way. And what we're gonna do to bring this alive. Go for the pimento sticks. What's that aroma that comes off of this? And you start putting the pimento in. It's mad to say you got it. this bit of wood. You can't get. You can smell it. It smells like jerk, literally. So as we start. I'm not going to put all of them in yet. I'm not going to put all of them in yet. I'm going to just fire it up a little bit. 
I'll leave them little one them there. Okay. Now I'm, I feel say. I don't know where to put no, let me go, let's go for the cultures. It don't matter if nothing drips down because remember you ain't eating the outside of the potato anyway. Whoa, yo, yeah. Yeah. Sit there, people. Nah. Start smelling that pimento wood coming out in a minute. Yeah, there it is. There it is. It reminds me of Jamaica. But we're in England, unfortunately. And everyone asks, you know, when are you going to go back to Mockles? When are you going to go back to Rust Kitchen? Honestly, people, as soon as I can get to Jamaica and they're not on this, you got a quarantine for 10 days and you reach there and uh, I, I will be there. Believe me, I'll be there. Oh, yeah. Camel, Jet Camel. Come on, people, you know I win and do things normal. You know that already. So I'll put it, I'm just going to slow cook. Yeah, all camel where I cook, you think I'm chatting? <laughs> yeah man, so everything is just, everything I've gone in there. So what I'm even going to do now to just done the dance one time, is just push this out, you see that it's burning nicely as well. See where the coal's not too hot yet, it's not just firing up the wood, do you know that boom, it's just gone there, just go in there. Yes, Maji. Get that in there and then, do you know what we might have to do? We might have to just... Chop the plant in. No joke thing in a bit there. Watch it now. But here what we have to do. I'll check on this one potato here because whether they are burning up. Yeah, so you go inside. Let me lift up this. You go inside there. me. And you can go over here, yes, sir. And chill over there. I look like you yeah, are gone. The thing are gone. That gone. There's a little bit of heat over there. All right. So yeah, you see it there. Natural thing. Look upon that, people. Jamaica in there, you know, Jed. Jamaica's in there. Yeah, man. May I tell you, man. You see this coal pot? Mm. You can't buy this in England, bro. Mm. This is originally like what people used to cook back in the day in Jamaica. This is what they used in the old days when people never had no cooking, cookers, no ovens or nothing like that. Coal pot, you know, and a lot of like people, a lot of older people still, still use them, you know. Um, but uh, this took me a lot, I had to import this. I had to import this from Jamaica. And it's just like, it's just unbreakable. It's just like the best thing, man. Like anywhere you go, you just, it's so much easier because it's built for it. Under here, you just put your, your fire lighter, boom. In the firelight in there, coal in there, light, done. Ten minutes later, it's done. You get me, so... Keep that heat in there. You know everything I've got nicely in there now? So what we're going to do is just... You know what I mean? Somewhere on the edge of the ceiling, nah, bro, nah. What are you? I'm gonna save them two if we stick there. Yeah, man. Oh, 
Aye, the smells coming from here, bro. The, the, the potatoes, the planting cooking, the pork chops, the camel, the pimento wood inside is heaven. Like, Jed doesn't do these things. He, that's what I'm saying, people. He shoots music videos. Check out, just, just, just type in Jed Roberts on YouTube and you'll see, like, he, he was like, this is sick. And this is what I'm trying to say. This is what we do, people, innit? We cook outside, natural things. This is what we do, man. It's, it's not no pressure thing. It's not a stress thing. Like, if we, if, if we mess up, we mess up. Do you know what I mean? We try not to swear. Even though most everybody on here deals with Jamaican cigarettes, Jed. <laughs> right? We don't show that. And we might say a little thing in the comments and that, but we keep it, we keep it good for the kids, them, and everything. You know what I mean? We're going to turn these over now and see what I want. Come I me, mean, I deal with the camel first, you know. Let me see what I want with the camel. Why, Look at that. Cooking lovely and slow because there's not that much heat over there. So, with these now. Uh, these smell 10 10. Oh, when the fat drips in there and it just lights up it again. I feel like I might turn that one there. Yeah. So the meat is, is, is doing well. What we're going to do, Jed, quick wash of the hands, because you know how the thing go. We have to keep it clean. And now we can use this. It's tea towel to just. What we're going to do is lift off that and make sure everything is going in nicely inside here. I feel like you need to go in there. You can chill out a minute. <whistles> you know what I mean? Them soon done, man. Them soon done. Everything I've gone now. Turn over this. Your blood feed. Yeah! Let's get back on there. Everything I want. Nice and easy, you know? Oh, I think it's time we just dash in the last little ones just to set her. Do you know what? Can't waste not a piece of twig out of this. <laughs> We're in the game. We're living. We are living. And this is what you call a one pot. One pot in a brother. We don't need two pot. We don't need two pot for. A one pot we are there with you. Get everything planting, sweet potato, camel. Jerk pork outside. <laughs> yeah, me and Jed was just holding a reason. So what we're gonna do to check if the potatoes are done. So if I lift off this with my left hand, as you can see, planting, cooking lovely. Look at that. When planting's done yellow, good to go. So planting's good to go. Now we're gonna check the potatoes by just that one's not done yet. So we give that a flip round. We can check some of these ones. Yep, that one they're ready, I think. Yep, see that one, that one's ready. Not yet. And this 
کرد بکن That's soon done. All right, yeah. So, what I'm gonna do is a test run for the potato. You see it there? Yeah. You can all chop off this end there, because that's not good. <laughs> Don't play with me, Jed. This is what we tell them. This is what we tell them when, when something comes out really well, Jed. We say, Jamie Hulliver got Sidong, man. Just go and sit down on a chair and learn from M. Dot. Because this is how you cook Caribbean food, brother. You understand? Sweet and soft. Sweet and soft and nice. Yeah, man. So I'm going to just rest that down. I rest that down there for a minute. And the camel will probably soon done. So we soon take off that. And um, pork chop soon done. Everything soon done. Yeah, man. Yeah. Look on that, people. Cooked to perfection, bro. You don't want to cook that too much longer than that still. So we just rest that one there. Have a look at this one. That one a little longer. God, that smoke's blazing now. Yeah, so this camel... Just gonna turn this one more time now. You understand? And do you know what? As we're here, we've got enough of these potatoes are gonna be done now, so. Take out these. I think we cremated that one still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's a mad thing there. So we can just start, set out our little things and things, and we're soon forward, people. Why I? Making a plate. We're outside. You understand? So we're just making a plate right now. So we can just because we don't really need we don't really need a plate for our potatoes yet. So what we're gonna do is we just get some leaves like that. We get our water and just wash them off nicely. You get me? Give that a nice little. And then, we got where we're going to serve our food. So you can just put a little sweet potato around here. Some planting and there. Yep. Yeah. So sweet potato. Why yoy. You can just hold that piece down there. You get me. And I think it's the moment of truth. Yeah man, she ready man. Shreddy, jerk, camel, cooked outside. 
Not sure about this one, Jed, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> now we've got to this point in the show, this is the point where I'm thinking, now the point, it was all good, and now I've got to eat camel. So, kind of killed it a bit there. But we continue with the good vibes and just block out the fact that I'm going to eat a big, humpy animal that walks around in the desert. <laughs> Let's rest that there. That one there good. That one there good. You understand? Why I? Cook and vibe. Let me move this out the way for you. And there is our finished product. You get me? Sweet potatoes. Planting. Jerk camel. Jerk pork. Yeah. That's how we do it, Jed. This is how we do it. Cook and vibe. Give me some likes, please, no man. Otherwise, you're gonna get rusty toenails. Say time. Yeah, say time. You know what? You know what, Jed? I'm just gonna go straight in with the camel. I'm gonna get it out of the way. I'm gonna get it out of the way. Do you know what? I'm not even gonna. I'm not even. I'm not. Even, I'm just gonna. So it's kind of like beef. Kind of looks like beef. Camel. But it's camel. <laughs> chewy. Definitely chewy. Doesn't taste bad at all. Actually tastes quite nice. No, that's not bad. No, that's not bad at all, but it's chewy. That's the only thing. I don't really like the chewiness. Maybe when it overcooks it. I'm not sure, but it's okay. It tastes like beef, but it's more gamier. Like it's got, like an aftertaste that I can taste now. It's gamey. But where the jerk seasoning's on it, you can, you can taste the jerk seasoning as aftertaste as well. So it's not really that bad. Chewy. Gonna be honest. <laughs> but yeah. All right, let's go for some sweet potato. Let's go for the big nice one here, look. This one is the Jamaican one. Look at that. Look at that, bro. That just falling apart. So man, just wipe off my hands then from the coal on the outside. You see where it's been roasted, it's a different flavor to the potato completely different flavour. That roast flavour on a potato, I don't think you can beat it. Oven, like people say, wow, you're putting your potato straight in the coal. So you'll never get a better taste. Never. And it's also a bit outside. But you see, if you're indoors, people, and you put a bit of butter and salt on this, yeah, you're, you're living. You're actually living. That is so good, man. The Jamaican sweet potato is different, obviously, to the um, UK one, Jed, because you can see by the colour. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is what they, this, this colour here is what they make like sweet potato pie out of in America and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah man. So, you can't stop eating it, man. 10 10. Proper 10 10. I'm going to finish that in a minute. I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to finish the camel. If Jed don't eat it, it's going in there. I ain't eating it, bro. I'm going to be honest with you, Jed, right? <laughs> and that's what happened to Jerk Camel. I'm not in there eating a bad man. Nah, no, man, cook can vibe. I do stuff for you. I'm not in there, the camel. Look, there's a little piece left on there. I mean, even want that bummy plea up. Dash for that, man. Yo, me I take, look. Yes, pork. I know not everybody eats pork, and I do like to apologise if you don't eat pork. No disrespect. 
We are a cooking channel. We deal with everything camel. It, it's <laughs> it makes it makes food look normal, but I do apologise. Do you know what I mean for anybody uh, who doesn't? That's ten ten. That's ten ten. I'm so glad I cooked these as well and not just the camel. I was just going to cook the camel, you know. So, I'm going to rest that down there and I am going to eat that, definitely. Planting. That's it there. Lovely and roasted. Just... It's a roasting thing. It's just one of my favourite ways to cook. I just think the flavour from roasting is just 10 10. Honestly, thank you so much for coming down to Le Dread. Yeah. It was a pleasure to, you know, have the experience in, in this environment and cook the food. We give thanks for the food because, you know, it's a blessing. So with that being said, you know how it works. Big up section. I think I've probably just wiped black coal around my face. <laughs> but you know how it works, people. Big up section. And I'll see you next episode, man. I love you lot. Why are you?